coming to you live from the Daily Blue Studios at the CEO building in Smithtown. Thanks to my good friends who are taping us and said, let's put Gio on the air. I'm really, really glad to bring you Giovanni Mata, a very, very good friend of mine. Um, welcome to the Daily Blue. You are going to be having a show on the Daily Blue next week called Connecting Communities with Giovanni Mata. So tell us what your show is going to be about. Sure, well thank you Carmen, I'm very happy to be here in program and thanks to all the audience that is actually viewing us at this time and uh, you know, very happy to be at your facility, it's a wonderful facility to, be, to uh, pay a visit here in Smithtown, so well, you know, thank you for the opportunity, we're going to uh, be having a wonderful educational, cultural and very challenging topic in our show called Connecting Communities with Giovanni Mata, so we're going to have a lot of surprises. Yeah. A lot of surprises, but of course we're going to be working um, a lot with our Long Island Hispanic communities and other communities that we work with here in Long Island and that we believe is going to be a great... A I great think it's going to be great. There are some people that I hope that stand out to me in our Long Island community that I mentioned to you that I would love to see come on the show, including Herb Flores, yes. Aldea yes. Gonzalez, Yes. Maybe even Maria Pareto will come back from, sure. she moved to Florida, right? She moved to Florida, yeah, yes. I but maybe she'll it. come back just to come on the show. Yes, I think, you know, there's other great people that we call yeah. um, stars, um, stars living in the shadows sometimes that we don't, we don't recognize them enough in the community yeah. or in a public life that they do so much for the community. Do we yes. have um, uh, sisters in the Catholic Church, we have... Pastors what about your pastor? Pastor. Yes, pastors. Oh, I love him. What a wonderful the, guy. Yes, pastors in the uh, Christian community. We have uh, people from the mosques, also sometimes uh, the whole the Hispanic community. Very um, uh, You know, we have Sister Margaret. I don't know if you know her from. No, I don't know her. Um, she is from Riverhead. And she works very close with the Catholic, and she has a very good program that she offers uh, to the community. We have Catholic charities. We have. I know them well. Uh, yes. So <laughs> yes. Yeah. So they work this very. They work very um, strong with the Hispanic community in giving them educational uh, information and all of these type of um, needs that the community has. Sure. So some of the subjects that I think are really important for the Long Island community to know what's happening in your community is about immigration. Is yes. that something that you're going to talk about? Because I think that Long Islanders or rural want to know what's happening. Yes. We want to know about disaster, the needs that are within your community. I mean, I myself have gone to your church and know that there's a need in your community for jobs or sometimes even for some of the, the more challenging situations. So some of the... Definitely, yes, we're going to be talking, you know, there is different um, different type of information that we can speak about. I mean, we can speak about income taxes. Now the season for people to do income taxes. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people uh, within our community are unaware that even if there is communities that don't have the commutation in this country, they can still pay their taxes by getting an ITIN number, which is called an individual no taxpayer identification number. Yes, it's been in the, in the United States since the 1960s okay. when people from Europe used to come here and do babysitting for, for some of the right. wealthy families. Right. So like they, a nanny? Yes. Okay. So they created the okay. ITIN number in the 1960s, very early in the 1960s. So a lot of people who are immigrants and don't have a status or are in the process of getting a status here can do things they legitimately pay, yes. and pay taxes a lot and that's a lot as a huge issue yes. for the Long Islanders who pay taxes they think that there's this there's no, that gap there yes you the will, immigrants pay taxes they pay yeah. taxes they contribute to this country they um they, you know and also you know when they go to the store they still pay uh, sales taxes right. there is no there is no um um uh, some sort of you know, taking them out of paying taxes, everybody pays taxes when you go to the store and buy something. So, these right. are some of the topics that we can pro uh, definitely bring to the, to the, now, to the show. Now, one of the people that, um, that came on our show and will have a show is Steve Levy. I would love for you and Steve to sit together. And recently, you awarded the county executive at Mangano um, at your church. I would love to see him also on your show. Yes, we actually, at, at, at some point, Valores de la Familia Hispana actually gave... Um, County Executive Mangano the um, the award for his contribution to the Hispanic community, right. and um, it was it was wonderful it was to honor him because he has been especially and specifically with the faith based community, the Hispanic faith based community. Oh, he's very he's very supportive of the Hispanic community. Him being a a member of the Assembly of God Church in Bethpage, mm -hmm. so his faith of course um, put him close to the um, faith based community in the Hispanic uh, population. Right. Well, we love him, but yeah. also. A little story, a little quick tidbit about Nassau County Executive. While he was um, in office last year, I believe it was, he 
he sent down, was it a, a troops, firemen, to go put burning fires out in El Salvador, correct? Yes. Something like that? Yes. What's the story, Gio? Really? I don't know exactly the story, okay. but I'm going to get it. It was back. amazing. Yes, let, let's make the story an Let's exclusive. make the story. We'll tell yeah, the guests we'll, next we'll, time. We'll, That's really great. Really, we'll, make really, it, really great. we'll make it an exclusive to the show. So we, I we're going to gonna make, we're gonna make um, kind of executive again. So tell let's call him right now. Yes. So you have to tune back to see Giovanni Mata's Connecting the Communities with Giovanni Mata. And hopefully one day you'll have me back on the show yes. because I love your people. Well, I love, you know, all of your projects and, and of course Blue Chip Marketing. I Thank think it's a great, so it's a great connecting um, um, source to this community in Long Island and of course also in New York City. Yes, you know, uh, that's so I believe, great. Um, on Long Island, this week, you know, you're speaking about the um, Hispanic population. There is more than 200,000, um, I don't have the data in front of me, but there is more than 200,000 people living in Long Island that are Hispanic. Wow, or Hispanic that's descent. a lot of people. So we so uh, tune in. We're, going to, we're going to have those uh, that information only in Brainwood, which is actually the the, uh, the largest hamlet. Um, having um, Hispanic population has over 41% of the total population is Hispanic. And 72% of the school district being the largest a school district in New York State after New York City has 72% of Hispanic population. So, wow. so we, we need, believe... Uh, we need you to connect these communities. Yes. So tune in live on Friday at 9.30. You will see Giovanni. You will hear. You will be able to call in. Again, the number is 631-337-1603. Tune in live to The Daily Blue. But again, you can get to Giovanni just through the YouTube channel or through our social network on thedailyblue.com. Thanks for joining us. Say something in Spanish. Say sure. Something. Saludos a todos. Bendiciones. Les esperamos en nuestro programa el viernes en Conectando las Comunidades con Giovanni Mata. Wow. I love it. Thank you.